Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. The last time I gave a tour of my lab was back in 2004. Or 2004. It's now 2018 and there have been many updates. Many new minerals, rocks, a lot of new labware, and I wish to show my lab to you today. Let's take a look around. My grandfather worked on the Manhattan Project in Bloomfield for Westinghouse doing research on the atomic and thermonuclear bombs so he made a good salary and bought a small mansion the basement of which is my business. And you see coming down the stairs posters and stratigraphy and topographic maps of the Adirondack Mountains where I've been. Microbiology, refrigerator, storage areas down in uh, southern New Jersey prospecting a lot of micaceous specimens and Sterling Hill Mine, <laughs> excuse me, a, a, quite a variety of minerals, a lot of amethyst, pre -night. Wardite, calcite of trigonometric form because it is a polymorphic mineral. Gray calcite, a little unusual. And you can continue to walk. I have new containers for minerals and specimens from Brazil. A new collection of minerals from uh, Europe. Not necessarily all pretty, but unique from where they come from, such as. Uh, the um, the Matterhorn, micaceous specimens from the Matterhorn, and other oh, I can't pronounce these names. Lands End, various specimens, all for sale. And in this cabinet, I got that somebody threw away, and I painted white because, if you notice, unlike labs, I have black lab benches. I built my old lab benches, and I built my fume hood, and I painted them all white to make the basement bright and cheery. And sterile looking, clean. And here, we see thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars of uh, obsidian pile. We've got some, uh, some uh, pink calcite. We have calcidney. We have muscovite mica down there. Calcidney, calcidney. Uh, the uh, obsidian, a lot in there. Besides on display, all for sale, beautiful euhedral quartz, clear quartz geode, nice specimen of obsidian, quite rare, pink calcite, calcidney, milky quartz, and the special, I don't know, it's called, I don't know. I don't know. More areas for specimens. Display cases. Nice, large, nice. You've seen this before, my collections of precious minerals, emerald, peridots or peridots, either way it's fine, aragonite, skullcite, epidote, sphalerite, hematite, adophyllite, vandadite, barite, obsidian, galena, and then down here are this minerals.
even engraved stones. Road night from Africa. Pink road night. Uh, Carol at is uh, calcite with a n metal like nickel in it. Pro quite prolific, very rare, very expensive. Carnelian. A lot of fossils. This is the only place for fossils. Tiger eye, polished and unpolished. Three types of jasper. Black jasper, red jasper, gray jasper. This is polished, these aren't. I don't even fit my drawers anymore. Magnetine, look how magnetic. That's synthetic. Quartz. And here's your typical hematite, which they can't open. Got a slight rhombohedrals. A lot of pink calcite. which we drop and lose. And I waste your time and my time achieving It won't shut. Oh, by the way, my sole proprietorship information Essex County, New Jersey. More minerals. A new shelf. Here's uh, pink calcite. This is perfect crystal form clear quartz. Not carved by lapidary. Pure crystals. These are carved and polished by lapidary. Agate slices. A bunch of them, and I got more. Chalcedony. Biotype mica schist. Very, very shiny. Fuchsite mica, muscovite mica, and biotype mica. And there you go. More on the bottom. Collection. My books. From college courses on the internet. That I audited. More books on rocks, minerals, earth, geology. And these two books are very important. These have the uh, diagnostic charts, which you can't find in full on the internet. Uh, you do physical properties on minerals. And I'll show that to you in a minute. More specimens. Ultraviolet Franklinite and ultraviolet calcite. UVC and UVA lamps, ultraviolet. And mineral identification bench. And we measure radiation, ultraviolet radiation with Geiger counters, hardness, specific gravity, magnetism, back here's a magnet. Uh, and most of all, and this is where people fall short for obvious reasons, a $2,500 petrographic microscope that will give you the optical properties and identify a specimen with a computer program subscription on the internet to within one or a few specimens. And then you can guess which one it is. And if you guess that it is the most common mineral, you're probably right. They're very diagnostic, more diagnostic than um, 
X-ray crystallography, more diagnostic than inductively coupled plasma, spark atomic emission spectrometry, atomic absorption. These tell you what elements are in a mineral, not what the mineral whole molecule formula is, but you can discern that from the optical properties and the a computer program. Uh, over a thousand dollar to the uh, point five zeros sensitive top loading balance top loading balance for the UV bench top loading balance for the chemical limnology bench this is where I do environmental pollution testing of water drinking water soils air samples uh, contaminants in air and pollution in air how dusty air is and then how polluted it is and also uh, a full set I do all tests on pool water only five dollars you don't have to do that yourself I have the full lab and I run my lab according to OSHA standards Department of Environmental Protection in Pennsylvania um, the EPA uh, ISO I used to be a uh, chemical analogist or environmental testing chemist all environmental laboratories have standard methods for the examination of water and wastewater all these this is an older book new books cost $454 contain the procedures for changing ch uh, for uh, cyanogen chloride we can dissociable cyanide I used to do period hydrochloric acid uh, pink uh, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy analysis procedures to identify cyanides any cyanides and microbiology is in here uh, all, all kinds of chemical tests for everything Next to the CRC, Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. Biological microscope, I do microbiology. I test for fecal coliforms and bacteria. And this is my hood. This is my chemical hood. Inside the chemical hood, I have new equipment. New heaters. Speaking of heaters, I have two microwave ovens. I'm getting back into the electronics business also. I'm going to do electronics, fix electronics. I'm going to put this over there so it's all heat. This is an oven. Nice large oven. You can, fit, you can fit your beakers in the oven and this heats up. It's a thousand degrees almost. No, actually about 800. It's a very hot oven. Not your typical 500 kitchen oven. Uh, soil tests for nutrients, phosph phosphate, nit nitrogen, uh, potash, uh, pH, test kits. I have thermometers, all kinds, pipettes, micro pipettes. These are. Uh, um, Pasture pipettes, uh, solutions, dyes for microorganisms, air tests, pipettes, my DI water. And when I run out, I got plenty more. Nice shelf. Here, here's my pulse kit. By the way, test kit. Where do they test in here? Chloride, bromide, bromine, uh, pH, acid demand, and total alkalinity. Just five dollars for all. Five dollars for all. Free shipping of. You send me your sample, and I laboratory tubing for my organic glassware containers. I like this guy. I picked him up at a yard sale 
a dental table. This is just for the laboratory. Keep, keep the table in nice order. Nice and clean. New high grade corning pH meter. Field pH meter, dissolved oxygen meter you can take in the field. And the associated buffers and gloves and chemicals. Coming this way of the bench. See heating mantles, test tubes. Here's my radioactive specimens that I sell. I sell radioactive rocks and minerals that I've collected and uh, depleted uranium mines. Where they mined for uranium, uranium oxide. Um, <clears throat> changing it into gas, uranium fluoride, hexafluoride, and then condensing it back in centrifuges, and then condensing it into 5% uranium, radioactive uranium-235 in unradioactive unre uranium-238 oxide, two oxygens, sample containers, beakers, glassware, volumetric glassware, volumetric pipettes. I uh, have my, for a fee, have my, uh, sometimes I do this, elements measured at Montclair State University's chemistry department where they have ICP you, uh, all kinds of spectrophotometers um, spark atomic emission spectrometry uh, inductively coupled plasma optically stimulated luminescence as well as mass spec GC mass spec HPLC but that's for organics um, but I do look at organics now they are in standard methods uh, your octanes and gas contamination and oil contamination of soils, for example, and water is organic.